hey guys it's Oogs. welcome to the channel and thank you for watching usman dembele dembuz coming to the bridge it looks like it because guess what barcel said you have to leave right now okay we don't want you at our club anymore because you refused to sign a contract with us and dembuz said you know what i'm going to the bridge <laughs> okay guys so let's get serious here so everybody knows what is happening with usman dembele and barcelona at the moment they had a contract on the table less money than what he was getting because barcelona got some financial issues at the moment dembele and his agent said no we want i don't know 40 million a year or whatever it is you know i want to be like messi <laughs> ronaldo the same salary and all that barcelona said you know what you've been in the hospital more than you've been on the field we've been kind with you for four years and then this is how you want to pay us back so man whatever the source or whatever the news that you want to believe the truth is xavi came out and say Dembele need to leave now if he doesn't want to sign. Uh, Barcelona president said the same thing. So according to sources online, um, Chelsea already made contact with uh, with uh, his agent, with uh, Osman Dembele camp. And one of the reasons why Dembele didn't want to sign with Barcelona apparently was because he heard about Chelsea interest. So. Dembele's goal is to play for Chelsea Football Club. His number one choice is going to be Chelsea Football Club. But it doesn't mean that necessarily he's going to sign for Chelsea. Chelsea also need to want, uh, to want him, if that makes sense. Like, let's say if Chelsea doesn't act for the next few days and Man United, Man City or Liverpool just go with money and pay and then he's gonna go there against his will of course but he has no choice but to leave um and uh, and go somewhere else you see it happened with uh, lucas dean right he wanted to come to chelsea chelsea were hesitating they didn't want to pay the money they wanted him on loan and all the complications so he ended up by going to aston villa okay so that is the case that could happen here now i've already made so many videos about this brother i don't want to repeat myself you know before even he was linked to chelsea football club i've been making videos about his uh, lifestyle uh always later training you know not discipline and his injury record which is related to his lifestyle of not sleeping uh, not eating right um junk food and all that so i don't want to repeat that and i made another video talking about his new life you know getting married going back home on time being responsible can also make you disciplined professionally so just because dembele been injured for the last four years nothing is telling you that he's gonna get injured uh often at chelsea football club different environment dip, different weather different lifestyle more responsible at home and that could be uh the key we've been complaining about the board not backing the manager right so if this is the choice from thomas tuko let me repeat myself if this is thomas tuko's choice I'm gonna just respect it you know what i mean in this position i would say let get thomas to call what he want instead of imposing him the players that the board want is that make sense so it's gonna be really hypocritical for us chelsea fans to start complaining about osman dembele to chelsea football club because we've been singing we, we've been begging we've been asking marina and the board to back thomas tuko 
So, I'm going to repeat one more time. If there is a big if here, I don't want it to be like a commercial signing again. Another French big name for, you know, Naki or whatever. I want it to be a football reason behind it. Okay? If Thomas Tuchel thinks that with his medical team, his coaching staff, they can get Usman Dembele back on track and then let it be. So, I'm going to support my manager this time. And I understand also people who don't want to see Dembele for the reasons that I've already said, you know. I'm going to keep an open mind because the end of the day, I don't make decisions. I just give my opinion. And everybody that will come through that door and wearing the blue jersey, I'm going to support him, Dembele included. The price is said to be about 15 to 25 million for somebody like Dembele that is a bargain, a bargain. If we can f keep this brother fit, I'm telling you that um, it's going to be one of uh, the best businesses that we made uh, in the recent years because that brother can shoot from distance. He can dribble past people just like nobody's business. He makes everything look easy and natural. Kylian Mbappe even said that Dembele was better than him. Well, I know that he's just hyping your friend a little bit to make him, you know, feel better. But there is a, a part of truth on that because when they were grow growing up, nobody thought that... Um, Kylian Mbappe was going to be uh, better than Ousmane Dembele. The, the discipline and the determination from Kylian Mbappe is, you know, what makes him in that level. But if Ousmane Dembele can learn from his friend Kylian Mbappe and say, this is my time. I'm 24 years old right now. It's time for me to change my life, turn it around. I'm telling you, he's going to be in the conversation of Ballon d'Or for the next uh, coming years. So, my friend, let me know. Did I change your mind here by giving you some explanations about why I would tolerate Usman Dembele? Or are you still skeptical? You think, Mwah. no, I don't want to see another injury prone because we have apparently police can... Kalim Hassan Adoy and Hakim Ziyech are injury prone and they are not good enough and you just want to go for the next big thing. That is your choice. That is your opinion. I'm going to respect it. Leave your comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and all the good stuff. God bless and I'll see you next time.